Let's talk about how to make these really cute sticky notes that you can use to give your students directions or instructions or show them how to do something in Google Slides. You also can use them to hyperlink to certain pages just to make life a little bit easier for them. So I use these for a couple of reasons that I just discussed. If I want kids to insert a video or for instance up here they have to insert images, I give them directions on how to do that just in case students don't know how to do that. It saves me some steps from having to come by and explain things. If I'm going to give students uh, directions about how to like insert a line or something like that, I will usually use the sticky notes. The cool part is once students actually complete the uh, page, they can delete these sticky notes if they don't need them. Um, but students will be able to see them, but as you see, they don't show up on the pages per se, they just show up on the sides. So the way you're going to need to do that is you're going to go to insert and we're going to go to image. And I'm just going to search the web because it's pretty easy. I'm just going to type in sticky note. And you've got a bunch of different options. However, I want one that looks like clip art because I kind of try to stick to that style. And I like this one. So I click it and then I hit insert. Boop. There it is. And this one has a clear background um, so or a transparent background. So if you wanted to put it over top of the work so students couldn't miss it, it's not going to cover up anything per se with its background. But I'm going to put it off to the side. So you just drag it wherever you want it. You can obviously drag the size to smaller or bigger. I like to start off with it a little bit bigger and then I will change the size to smaller if I want to later. Now you can type inside of it so you're going to need to insert a text box so you go to insert text box and then drag it to be about the size of the text. Now this sticky note is a little catty cornered, a little wonk out, a little sideways so I turn my text box to fit that so it doesn't look strange. And then obviously you'll need to change your font, um, color, and size to match whatever you want it to be. And now you're ready to type. So for example, for this page when I look at it, I'm going to think about what instructions or directions my students may need from me. So one thing that I know students may need assistance with is how many persuasive language techniques and rhetorical appeals they're supposed to use. It seems apparent to me that they would have to use three since I have the numbers on here, but maybe it's not for them. So I may say something like, remember, you have to use three different types of persuasive language techniques and three different rhetorical appeals in your products advertisement. Now right now they're just creating their product but eventually they're going to have to create the advertisement for this and they will have to use these so I go ahead and have them start thinking about it now. If I can spell correctly which thank goodness it has spell check. So I made the font a little bit bigger just because and then I'm going to center it up and you also can use this button which will align it to the middle of the text box which I like to do just because it helps my eye to see a little bit more of where I'm lining it up to. And then like I said before, I am really picky about the way that it kind of shows up on there. So I kind of play with dropping it down to a new line. Now, you got your sticky note there. And if you want to, you can do this, which will allow you to move both the text box and the sticky note at the same time, which is helpful. Also, if I resize it, um, it sizes, for the most part, both of them at the same time. 
So you just click and drag to highlight both of them and then you can move them. So I'm going to move this kind of towards the top and it's ready to go. Now, because my students may not, unfortunately, remember what the different persuasive language techniques are or rhetorical appeals, I'm going to add another sticky note that is going to hyperlink to the pages in the notebook that talk about those things. So I'm going to highlight, I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to paste. And I'll have an exact copy of that sticky note that I can then type my new information into. So now I can talk about this. So I'm going to say, go to these pages in your notebook for help with rhetorical appeals. Actually, I may say to see all your options. Okay, I'm going to come down and then I'm going to need to type the actual pages. So I'm going to have to go through and find where those pages are. So one is on page three. And then my persuasive language techniques are on page 11. Oops. 11. 12 page 13 and you can see I'm kind of I'm getting bigger than my text box so I can make my text box bigger or I can make my font smaller I think I'm actually gonna do both because this is just kind of help for them it doesn't need to be giant like some of my other directions and then to hyperlink I'm just going to highlight where it says page 3 click this link button click slides in this presentation and then click slide three apply and then do that for each one of these pages and now students have a really quick kind of reference guide that they can use to go back and look at what options are available to them and hopefully this will save them some time from scrolling around endlessly in the notebook and they can spend more time working and less time looking we love time savers. I'm going to make my sticky note just a little bit smaller. Oops, that was actually the text box. And I'm going to try to center this up. Done. I don't actually save these like I did for some of the pages where students can edit them because hopefully once students complete this page, they will actually delete them because they don't need them anymore. So I don't worry about the fact that they can edit these. And so now that is how you can create sticky notes for your students to give them instructions or directions or feedback.